Hey, what's up guys? It's Vicious and welcome to my subscriber special. Today I'm finally getting around to doing my 3,000 subscriber video and it's so postponed that it's more like the 3,500 subscriber video. Uh, but anyways, on this video, basically I had the idea of showing you guys my, my setup today. A lot of people ask me here and there, you know, what's your computer specs, what kind of monitors are those, what kind of microphone do you use? I get those kind of questions kind of often, so it makes sense to just do a video special and kind of give you guys the tour of all my equipment and my goodies, you know, just give you the grand tour of my stuff. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to get behind the camera. I'll be hand holding. It's going to be shaky, be forgiving, and I'll just walk you through my stuff. So let's go. And... I use two file cabinets for holding a lot of stuff here. I don't have enough light in the room. Actually, let me turn on. I forgot to turn this on when I was just recording the intro. Oh my God, the sun. There's a uh, 500 watt halogen light there that I use to light up the room. If you look inside of this bottom drawer here, I've got another one right there and all the PVC pipe because I have my own stands that I used. Did I built those? I cut them off the original stand. Top George, my mountain bike stuff, and miscellaneous crud. Now look in the bottom, we got some goodies in the bottom here. I got, oh you can't see, yeah you can. Two of the, uh, there's one Wii joystick there, one Xbox 360 joystick, my old keyboard. There's the headset that I just did a review of, the uh, Siberia V2 in the back. I really, you can't see it at all. Back there is my old school adapter. Is uh, Let me get a flashlight, hold up. Look at this flashlight, by the way. Oh, yeah. The minigun flashlight. It's going to have the wrong color uh, balance because this is LED light. But uh, let me dim it down a little bit. These are self-made adapters I have back there that were for my original arcade that I built. Uh, one of them is two Dreamcast controllers that were hacked. Let me pull it out if I can get it without making up. Check it out, guys. It's two Dreamcast controllers that I totally hacked apart. And made into a modular adapter this plugs into my two-player joystick setup that i made for an arcade cabinet that way i can play dreamcast games on an arcade setup and then over there in the corner that's a double modular setup using rj45 cable it works for pretty much every video game console ever made plugs into my two-player arcade setup all right other side of the cabinet we got a blue yeti microphone Got Shonen Jump. The Dreamcast is in the corner over there. Not much to see. Oh my god, I'm next to this halogen light. It's so hot. It's melting me. All right. More filing cabinets here. Here's my, my baby joystick right there. That's my, uh, it's also modular. It works on every video game console pretty much with an RJ45 connector using Sanwa Japanese arcade parts. It's pretty cool. It's got Yoko on it. Now let's take a bigger look at the uh, the desk. You know, if people are wondering what brand this is, this is not a brand, it's uh, self-built. I made it myself. It's using, God, my phone is driving me nuts. All right, three quarter inch medium density fiber board and I use what they call contact paper or lamination paper. There's a whole bunch of different names for it just to cover it up instead of painting it because I, I like the, uh, the look of it and it also makes it water resistant. The uh, feet, one here and one there, are just file cabinets. I went to like Office Depot or Staples and they have like the, the banged up, scratched up filing cabinets in the front for like one quarter price. Got those and I covered them up and they became the feet. And then I braced it onto the wall with some like metal L brackets as well. And we'll start from the left here. 540 watt stereo receiver. The brand is Optimus. The Verizon fiber optic box. My Canon printer, which can print on DVDs so I can do labels and stuff. Some Jaeger shot glasses. Uh, this is new, we just got this last week. This is my, my Yamaha MG82CX mixer board. I did this to kind of one up my recording setup. Now I can monitor myself live when I'm recording and control the volume for a game versus <clears throat> my voice directly from here. Still got some work to do. I'm going to be hooking up a few more connections to it. Got the uh, HP touchpad plugged into it so I can play music or use it as a, a soundboard. The uh, monitors, let's turn those on. It's 
three Dell U2410s. And up above it is a 37-inch uh, Western Digital LVM 37W3 or something like that. It's been a long time. Uh, let's see. If you, I use Velcro to keep my remotes on the front of my de desk so that, so that they're always in place and they don't take up desk space. And we've got on a microphone boom arm here is the, uh, the Yeti Pro, which I'm running right now through XLR into the mixer board. And I've got my own homemade uh, pop filter, which is just basically one of those little arts and crafts circles. I don't know what they're called. And then some pantyhose works perfectly. The mouse pad, which takes up the entire desk area, is the X-Track Pads Ripper XXL. Really like it because it keeps my keyboard in place. And it's just you never have to worry about not having enough mouse space. It takes up the whole freaking desk almost. The keyboard here is a... Um, DOS Keyboard Ultimate Professional S. So it's got blank keys. There's no labels on my keys at all. And it's using MX, Cherry MX Brown switches. Speakers, I got the Klipsch Quintet 3s. And over beside me is the 10 inch powered subwoofer that also from Klipsch. Uh, three Xbox 360 controllers, which I use for PC. Some Jägermeister, my katana. Everyone knows my katana. Yes, it's a real katana. I should have probably dug out my certificate of authenticity for you guys. On the wall, we got Audio Technica A700s, AD700s, Ultrasone uh, Hi Fi 2400s. And here we got a New Force HDP. This is a really nice gadget. It's a preamp, a DAC, a headphone amplifier. It's like everything in one. So I plug my headphones into this when I want to listen to music or play games and stuff. And when I'm not plugging headphones into it, it automatically sends the analog out to my amplifier, which I'm running also into the mixer now. My computer down there. The case is the Antec P182SE, the special edition, so it has a reflective case. So you can actually see that I'm wearing like socks right now, and it's double vision. It's a really cool case. The front of it's also mirrored, but I took it off a couple of months ago because now that I moved my subwoofer right here, I didn't have enough space to open the door up to get to my CD drive, so I just took the door off. It's got dust filters in the front, which is very important because my room is so dusty. It keeps the computer cleaner, and I can just take those off really easy and clean it out. Inside of it is two AMD 5870 video cards and Crossfire, an Intel um, i7 2600K overclocked at 4.6 gigahertz. I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM and an asus what is it it's a p8 p67 deluxe motherboard running a pc power and cooling turbo 750 watt power supply so that covers most of the basics for the primary hard drive for my os i'm using an intel 160 gigabyte uh, generation 2 solid state disk and i have about six other random hard drives inside of there for all the video editing and stuff i do Here's my awesome as hell Super Nintendo controller that is hooked up to USB. It's actually been modified to work on USB. For a mouse, good old tried and true uh, Logitech MX518. You really can't go wrong with those. Those are like so well made and they last forever and they just work perfectly. And oh, there's I was talking about the arcade stick. There it is, my first arcade stick. It's two players, traditional arcade layout, six button plus start button, using uh, HAP parts, which are common in the American arcades. And so that was what all those adapters were made for, was so that I could play two player arcade games like MAME and stuff on there. There's a light that I just have up there to give me some fill light when I'm recording on the desk, like doing reviews, so you can actually see what I'm reviewing. Here's another little project I did. Here's my Logitech C910 high definition webcam because it has really really crappy uh, mounting system it just has a clip that puts over the goes over the top of your monitor I made my own mount for it so I took a uh, flexible tripod and made the uh, I took a washer and a nut and welded them together and used velcro to make a custom mount for it so now it sits anywhere I want it to do it can even like wrap around things because it's a flexi tripod so you can just do whatever the heck you want with it so that's why I got such a easy to mount webcam. 
under the desk, besides the dirty floor, because I need the vacuum. Again, you can't see it. There is the Logitech G27 racing wheel. <clears throat> That's one decision I wish I had not have made. I used to have a Logitech Momo racing wheel, and I wanted to upgrade to that because it has an actual clutch and an H-shifter. But I found out that I don't ever use it because it's too much a pain in the butt to set it up. The, the Momo was a lot easier to set up. And it used the triple clamp system instead of a double clamp system, so it was actually better for me. So, oh, here, here's the camera bag. My little slate that I used to sync my audio. My Nikon D70. I got a 50, 50 millimeter prime with a uh, 1.4 aperture. And on the camera right now is an 18 to 200 uh, with optical stabilization. And I'm holding the camcorder, so I really can't show you that. It's a uh, Samsung H205. Some new cables I just got in the mail today, so I can hook up the uh, mixer to a secondary sound card. I'm going to be installing a second sound card right after this video, so I can do some more audio work. And I think that's good enough. I mean, there's a ton of stuff here. I'm going to miss some of it, but that's the gist of it. So I hope I have appeased my viewers with my fan generated video you know for 3,500 subscribers I want to say thank you to all you guys uh, it's really taken off lately I'm getting a lot of new subscribers on a daily basis and that's awesome uh, I did split the channel off to 4k games where all my gaming videos goes now that one's growing a lot slower than I had hoped so I definitely need you guys uh, to support me and subscribe to that channel for the game stuff and stay tuned here to vicious computers uh, for where all the tech stuff will be like my vlogs like this one all my reviews and gadgets and stuff like that So think guys I will be around. I got lots of work to do today And I'll be making more videos for you soon